Hi, I'm Ginger Rem. I'm Martine LaDuc. And we're here at Brooker Creek Preserve to tell you all, all about, about water. water. Today we're going to talk about weathering, erosion, and deposition. I'm going to try to help you remember the difference between those three terms. Weathering is when rocks break down or break apart. You might think that rocks can't break very easily, but actually you've probably seen tree roots breaking a sidewalk. That's weathering. Or if the rocks tumble down the river, they're crashing together and they're weathering. Little pieces are breaking off. These are pumice stones. They're types of rock. They are igneous rock. And I'm going to put those in this pot and we are going to tumble them around just like they were in the river and we're going to see what happens to them. All right, now that I've shaken this for a while and the rocks have banged together, let's see what's at the bottom of the pot. You can see that pieces of the rock have brought, broken off and created kind of like sand. So the rocks rubbing together, crashing together, breaking apart, that's weathering. Another thing that can cause weathering is ice. So if water dripped inside this rock and then froze and was in all those little holes, when the water, water freezes, the ice expands and gets bigger. And that could also break the rock and cause weathering. After the rocks have weathered, the sediment or smaller pieces of rock will move because of gravity, wind, and water. So here's some pieces of the rock, the sediment that came from the rocks rubbing together. And if wind comes along, it will cause erosion. When the pieces of sediment are moving, that's erosion. It could be wind or it could be water that moves it. That's erosion. So the rock broke down, that was weathering. The sediment collected here and then it moved. And when it moves, that's called erosion. And then after the movement, the pieces of sediment, sediment settled down here and some of it settled down here. This is called deposition. Deposition is when the pieces of sediment settle to the ground very slowly when the water stops or the wind stops. So remember, weathering is when the rocks get broken down. So if you shuffle your feet, you're, you're breaking little pieces of rock into smaller pieces. That's weathering. Erosion is when that sediment moves, and deposition is when it settles to the ground. So you go like this. Weathering breaks down the rock. Erosion moves it. Deposition settles to the ground, settles to the ground, settles to the ground. All right. now. I'm here with my friend Liam, and he's gonna help me with the dance. Are you ready, Liam? Yes. Okay. Weathering breaks down the rocks. Weathering breaks down the rocks. Erosion moves the rocks. Erosion moves the rocks. Deposition settles to the ground, settles to the ground, settles to the ground. Deposition. Uh, this is Martine LaDuke. And this video was brought to you by the Pinellas County School System along with the Southwest Florida Water Management District. We'll see you next time.